Hello everyone, my name is Wayne and welcome to Pisces. I'm one of the marine techs here and today I'm very excited about talking to you regarding marine tank monitors. Today I'm going to be featuring one of our really top marine monitors which is called the Senai. Why I really like the Senai monitor is simply that it does a number of key parameters when you're setting up either a marine tank or a planted aquarium. The Senai monitor comes standard with LUX power and color intensity which means it actually monitors the light that's going into your tank if you have a marine tank then you know that your reefs your corals require photosynthesis in the corals to actually produce the food that the corals need and monitoring that and measuring it is not something that comes standard with your ordinary light kits so knowing the parameters we have in the tank is very important and that's why the Senai Reef Monitor is extremely important in showing us our results. If you're a techie like me, you like all of the technology that you can actually have on your tank, especially when it's a marine tank, because there are just some things that we can't see with the naked eye. And one of those is actually light. When we used to use T5s and even the new LED systems, we used to adjust these based on how we see the color. If it's blue, if it's white, if it's red, we adjust it by our eyes. But that's not so for most of your corals. Because most corals live within a range of 300 to about 100 nanometers. That's the power range. And that's where you're going to have most of your reef tanks growing best in that type of range. But how do you know that? You cannot see it with just the naked eye. This is where the Senai monitor comes in. One of the good things about the Senai monitor is just that it's not just power that it's reading. It's reading your life critical parameters which is your pH, your temperature, it's even giving you a water level. So let's talk about those parameters for a sec. It's constantly monitoring your pH in your tank, but also the key one is your ammonia, your free ammonia. The free ammonia is the one thing that's going to crash your tank very quickly. And most test kits don't measure that. So when you're getting this reading on a constant basis, the Senai from its web server will send you alerts so you can actually get it by email or by text message. Almost every day at Pisces, we get real excited new customers coming in wanting to set up their very first marine tank. Where do you actually start? Where I say everyone starts is a patience game. So you have a few months, in my opinion, where you're going to be cycling your tank. Now you know when you're cycling your tank, you're going to be dealing with the nitrogen cycle. This is where you have your ammonia, which then converts to your nitrites, your nitrites then converts to your nitrates. When those parameters are stable, then you know it's time to introduce livestock to your tank. And in a marine tank, that can take a few months. Typically, a properly cycled marine tank, done well, will last anywhere from three to four months. So how do you really know when it's properly cycled? How do you know when it's actually safe to have your fish and your livestock in? This is where the Senai Reef Monitor comes in to actually help you significantly with cycling your tank. Now when you're cycling your tank or you're acclimating new livestock into your tank, the key thing is to make sure that there's as least amount of stress that that livestock is going to go through when it enters into your tank. So for instance, your pH, your temperature, and your ammonia. Those are the three key parameters that we want to make sure are stable before we actually move our livestock in. The Semi Reef Monitor does that excellently. What you'll do, for instance, when you're cycling your tank, it's just you, you put the Senai Reef Monitor in your tank, there's no programming, it really is just a plug and click and you literally have your readings up in within a matter of 10 minutes. Versus you go to a more established controller like the Apex system which has a lot more controls to it. So when you're cycling, I typically like to use this because it's going to show you your readings over a period of time. Today, I'm going to actually be mapping this tank. I'm going to be doing a complete power reading, all the different levels of the tank from the front to the back. Because what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be adding more corals to this tank and more fish. And I want to make sure that I don't overload the filtration system and I know exactly what's the best placement for the corals in this tank. So the power meter is already installed, but we're going to show you that shortly. But again, this is what I do on an ongoing basis, why I like the Senai Reef Monitor. It's not just giving me power, it's giving me temperature, 
It's giving me free ammonia. That's not something you get in your standard reagent kits. And it's giving me water level and pH continuously. So I can totally map this entire tank and I'll know where the most intense areas are for lighting and I'll know where to place my corals. Here I have my bracket which is actually holding the Senai Reef monitor. You'll notice that I have it laying flat horizontally so that the light penetrates the sensor which is actually at the top. It's also taking all the other readings in the tank which is my free ammonia, my pH, my water temperature. So right before I do a water change, I literally will put this in the tank, get a really stable reading, then I'll actually put the Senai in my water change reservoir. So as I'm mapping the tank for the power, what I'll do is just really just raise this up and as I raise it up at different heights, the different lightings will actually come in and the meter will actually show you the different levels of power, it's also different levels of Kelvin. If I angle it like this, you can get a little bit of an idea of what it looks like, but when you're taking your readings, you don't want to have it angled when you're doing your lights. You always want to have it horizontal and you move it literally up and down sideways and mark where your readings are. On a busy day at Pisces, when I'm doing my water changes or I want to add some corals or make any adjustments to my tank, this is the tablet here that I use to access the Senai. I'm going to access it through the web server and I'll show you what the two different interfaces look like. So this one is found from Senai.me. This is a direct installation just from connecting directly to the web server. Here's what the interface looks like. Right away I can actually see what the power meter readings are. I can see the temperature, the pH. When I see green, it's also telling me that these are stable. Slide, this is actually the slide that is actually doing the pH and the free ammonia. The 28 above it tells me that I have 28 days left. I like this really because there is no calibration, there is no reagents to buy. You just simply put the slide in and 30 days later you change the slide. That's all you have to do. Very easy to install. This is the interface, very easy to use and move around. I'm going to go back now to the other one. Now let's take a look at what the cloud server looks like. I like this because it gives us the mobility. I can look on this from any device, whether it's an Android or an iOS system. So this is a cloud server from Senai. When I open the interface, as you see, this gives me the original overview and then I can go directly to the dashboard by clicking this tab here. Once I click the dashboard, it brings up the graphical interface. So I can slide up and slide down. This is a quick overview of what's looking in the tank. Here I'm seeing overall everything is good. My pH, my temperature, my ammonia, all these floating green fish. If they were up higher, then you know you're at the higher part of the range. Lower, you're at the lower part of the range. As you scroll down, you can see that it graphs it for you. I can literally move my ranges here so that it will alert me if it's too high or too low. Everything shows you that everything is okay with your Senai Reef monitor. Now whether you're using the Senai Reef Monitor with the web server, which is this unit here, or if you choose to connect it directly to your PC with the included USB cable, and you can actually use it as a standalone unit. The Senai has an internal memory, so all you do is connect it to the power supply, it will store all the information on board, take readings about every hour, then you can take the unit out over for a week, however you want to, and download that onto your PC. It will be uploaded to the server where you can view it and do your graphs. The simplicity of use with the Senai Reef Monitor makes it my personal choice here at Pisces for an aquarium monitor. The slides come in a simple replacement pack like this. You can change them out every 30 days. Access on the tablet, everything, the graphical user interface is very clear. And again, simply just using the monitor, moving it around in the tank, up and down, gives me my readings. And then I'm ready to add more corals. Like, subscribe and come to the store and we'll talk a little bit more about the Senai. Thank you for joining the Pisces.